Oh, this is Where's the, the cornstarch? It's almost. No, back over here towards me. Yeah, I don't know how you keep missing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a miracle how they manage their everyday lives. I know they wouldn't even know if someone was right. In I didn't know you were right here. there. <laughs> I think you're gonna like our stuff today because we're making super simple honey garlic shrimp. With one caveat, I'm doing it blindfolded. Yes, we've succumbed to the stupid bird box challenge. Ow. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. oh sorry, did I hit you? Oh, this is or whatever the hell it's called. I watched the movie, I wasn't a fan of it, but Max said, hey, why don't we? And I go, okay, let's do it. So honey garlic shrimp made blindfolded. Probably gonna take about 17 hours. Do you guys trust me, Max Jilly, to put on my own blindfold? We do. We do. All right, here goes. And by the way, as I'm doing this, I'm gonna let you know, nothing's, nothing's been set up, nothing's been pre-cut. The only thing I've done, is this all even? Yes. Because even though I can't see, I wanna look good. The only thing I've done is I've defrosted some shrimp, but I haven't even peeled them, so I won't be needing these for a while. Shall we start? Let's do it. We're gonna start by making some rice and I brought out a rice cooker. We've done this before. Look, would have been easy if I'd started off with rice. Just nobody would have been any wiser if I'd said, oh, we're gonna serve this on rice. But, but no, we're not. Well, we are, but I gotta get the rice first. So, uh, when using a rice cooker, I have a, a foolproof method of making the kind of rice that I like. So first you need rice in here. And it doesn't really matter how much you use because the system of adding water is always the same. And I'm quite certain if I don't put things away as we go, I'm gonna end up, what the f I'm gonna end up with things all over the counter and that's just gonna be dangerous for me. So here's what you do. Regardless of the amount of rice you have in here, the first thing you want to do is rinse it with cold water. <laughs> it's gonna be a long freaking episode. No, here we go. I, I, Jilly does audio, she's over there. I can hear her giggling already. And I think I'm gonna have to tie this once more because it feels like it might, it might undo. And I want anybody accusing me of cheating. So what's important first when you're making rice is that you fill it up with water and you just do this. I have no idea where you are, Max. I'm so right here. <laughs> <laughs> so if you need me to turn or something, just tell me. What we're doing is we're getting the, uh, the, uh, the extra starch off because you don't really need it. So swirl it around a bit, just run it through your hands like this, and then drain out the water. And you're gonna see why I can make rice without a measuring cup perfectly in about a second. Okay, now, right here. here's what we wanna do. Now we're gonna take and put water in here, cold water, just so it covers it enough that when we put our finger in and touch the rice, the water comes up to this first knuckle. See where I'm going? And of course I can't tell, so I want this relatively flat. So the water is just gonna come up to here and well, I can't tell, actually. I think I'm pretty close. Too little water, too dry. Too much water, too wet. Mm, this is a lot harder than I thought. I'm going with it, I don't care. Come back to here. Put it in. Close the lid, pull out the cord. I mean, it definitely helps if you know your, your stuff. And I want to make sure, I have to plug this in. I don't want wet fingers because that could be something really bad. So bring it over here. Oh boy. That was pretty bad, almost. Hmm. Goes this way. How was the video? It took him five hours just to plug in the f rice cooker. Start. Oh boy. I thought I knew this. Am I close? 
<laughs> You're like right on it. Here? A little higher. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. Did I hit camera. you? Sorry. And now I think, I think I need to tie this once more. I don't want anything to come out. So the rice is doing its thing here. It will beep and tell me when it's ready. And now I need a bowl here. Remember we thought this was a good idea? How's it feeling right now? I love it. It's hilarious. All right, so I'm in the fridge. And I need shrimp that I do know is here someplace. Shrimp that I have to peel. So we've talked about this before. These are deveined shrimp. They're not peeled. We're going to do that. But they're deveined shrimp. Uh, shell on deveined. So the thing to do is just take the shrimp in your hand, separate the shell on either side, just hold like the butt of the shrimp. And then if you squeeze right where the tail meets the, the shell, it generally just comes off. In one hand, shrimp goes in the bowl. And you just, you guys are going to have to believe me that in the, in the edits, I'm not taking off my blindfold and looking at anything. I would never allow that. No, I know you wouldn't. This is your sadistic and this is your idea. And what's the worst thing that happens? We end up with a little shell in our uh, stir fry? That's okay. My assistant Beth said, oh my God, you're going to do that. And I go, yeah. And she goes, tell me you're not using knives or heat. I go, uh, actually, I'm using both. How much fun would it be if I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with a butter knife? That would be stupid. I'll tell you something. It certainly gives you an appreciation for uh, people that are less sighted. Uh, and you, it's a miracle how they manage their everyday lives. You know, they wouldn't even know if someone was right. I didn't two know you were right there. there. <laughs> that is freaky as shit, man. That's weird. By the way, have you seen the bird box? I know you guys have, but I, I mean, I don't want to completely shit on it. I thought the beginning was great. It had a great start. Gave me chills, that beginning. You guys too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The beginning in the, in the Jeep was fantastic. And then after that, I just kind of, I don't know what happened. I'm way, I, I just, I haven't watched the house on Haunting Hill, or the Haunting of Hill House. Yeah. I haven't watched that yet, I'm like looking that. forward to it. Okay, so I can, we're almost at the end of these guys. All right. I'm looking for this. I felt like I threw the towel at one point. Look at that. All your other senses kick in. That was my sense of memory kicking in. <laughs> and I know there's no such thing as a sense of memory. But. Okay, we need to make some sauce. This is going to be challenging. So the sauce consists of four things. Uh, soy, honey, garlic, ginger. Honey. I mean, I don't know generally where I put these things. You didn't mix anything up here, did you? No, you're not close right now. Oh, hold on. I know that it's a squeezy. Keep going, keep going. I need soy. This will be easy because it's. There we go. That was easy. I know the bottle. I'm going to use roughly, it's very difficult, equal parts honey and soy. You know, honey? This is impossible. I don't even know when this is coming out. There we go. I'm going with that. Now comes the hard part. Ginger and garlic. Head of garlic. Oh, and while I'm here, I need ginger. This is going to be really tough. Shit. 
And for the newly blindfolded, the Xylus garlic press is perfect because you don't have to peel the cloves. You just put them in and go. And then using the back of your knife. Now here comes the problem. The problem is, is that ginger, you need to peel. So I'm just trying to make it even on all sides. Okay, well here's the deal. I'm going with whatever I've got and so you just want to mince this up. By the way, if I haven't already said it and I don't think I have, don't try this at home. You do not need to be doing this. Nice. Impressive, huh? I don't care about this. F that. Soy, honey, ginger garlic. So we just want to mix this well. And because I can't tell how much I've gotten here, I want to put some on the shrimp. And now it'll be easier with my hands than anything else. Best tools you've got. Oh, sh I want to add just a little cornstarch. Where's my sink? It's usually right behind me. Oh, here we go. Wow, it's all the way over there. This is going to be tough. I apologize for what's about to happen because this is going to, I think it's going to be difficult. I want to add a little cornstarch to that. Ah, oh, look at that. See, I know somebody's going to think I'm cheating, but I'm not cheating. So the cornstarch will help this thicken up a little bit. But the thing is, I don't want to use very much. So cornstarch is generally uh, used as the thickener. So we're going to add a little bit to this. Like this much. We have more knife fun coming up. Uh, we want some vegetables in this. I didn't put my towel back here. And that's really annoying. Put sh back. Ah, f I'll just get a new towel. I don't care. Why would I care? Uh oh. That's me. Okay, where's the, the cornstarch? Follow my voice. Almost. No, back over here towards me. You, all, you all just went right past it. I keep going right past it. I don't know how you keep missing it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, are you screwing with me? Don't, <laughs> man. Come on. I'm trying to do a good job here for people. So this is fine. That's just going to sit over here. I can see that. Ginger. So I need some red pepper. Oh, there's that other towel. I have onion that I saw. Sense of smell, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I better hang on to it. It could be a mistake. And, oh no. I had some little green beans that I bought. Do you even see them? There's a little. Got them. I think I got them. So now, we, of course, we want some vegetables for this. And I think because I can't see where the hell anything's going, uh, I'm going to get my wok out, and we'll just put them straight in the, in the wok. And I don't like these, these little ends on here. Yeah, how about this? Now, you wouldn't f with me when I have a knife, correct? I would not. Pretty good. It feels pretty good. We'll just go in here. Red pepper, a little more challenging. I like to take the sides off. I don't like the seeds. And this internal membrane thing is a pain in the ass. I want these fairly thin, I think. But I don't want it. Oh, I just threw garbage in a drawer. <laughs> that I thought was the garbage can. Oh well. I can't wait to see this thing all plated. Nail the onion. All right. Let's start to cook. I want this one. Hold on. Uh, 
That's it. I think this is it. I can't tell if it's right on it, though. Get your fingers out of there. No, no, I've got to be close to here. I think that's good. I'm going to use a little peanut oil, which, you know, well, it's certainly working. The, the goal at the what? The what? <laughs> the goal at this point is to, to get these guys softened a bit, but have them be still like a little crisp tender. So I'll take a second, you know, three, four minutes. The hardest part was going to be these beans. That's not a bean. That was a bean. You know what they need? They need a little bit of water. A little splash of water. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I'm looking for a, a, a cupboard with a cup. I just want to give them just a little tiny. Okay, when they're almost done. We want a bowl to put them in. Oh. back on the heat. Now a little bit more oil again. Oh, I don't know where I put it. And when this is hot and starting to smoke, which who knows when that is. Now. Oh, now? Of course I can't tell how anything's been cooked how dry the pan is or isn't. But I do know in a hot pan, the shrimp do not take more than a couple minutes. We're gonna let them do their thing for a sec. I've got my vegetables right here. I think I can put them in now. I've got this little extra sauce. Oh God. You mixed a little bit there. That's okay. A lot of it. And we're almost there. So let's turn this off. So the rice, like I can't see. I feel, ow. I think it's ready. Mm. I don't know if it's ready. But I'm going with it. Sesame seeds. Oh, this is, this is gonna be a fucking drag. Oh, no, that's not sesame seeds. This might be a mistake. Do I know the container? Sesame seeds. Ow. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> now let's have some, shall we? Can I look? You can look. Oh. oh, God. It is so bright. Oh. I'll tell you this. Okay, the shrimp might have used another 30 seconds. That's pretty f good. Wow, I'm surprised. I didn't do too bad here. I left some green bean on the table, but this is actually pretty good. So, had I been able to see what I was doing, I would have cooked the sauce a little bit longer. It would have thickened up a little bit and, and made the whole thing a little glossier. But I gotta say, considering I was blindfolded the whole time, I think I did okay. This is a little messy. I gotta clean the stove. So there you have it. That's my stupid bird box challenge with honey garlic uh, shrimp. I think if you do the recipe the proper way, it'll actually be pretty damn good. So do that.
The link to the recipe will be below, as is Make America Cook Again merchandise links, and anything we use in this episode that we think you might want, like a wok. You should have a wok, and that's like 20 bucks, so it's an amazing investment. Again, don't do this at home. I don't want anybody writing saying, I'm missing a finger because I followed your stupid recipe. The recipe is for the shrimp, not to do it blindfolded.